And we are back with another episode of Miner's Greed, otherwise known as the quest for every item in Minecraft. And you may be wondering, where the hell are you? <laughs> and I am wondering that as well. So if you remember last time, we did quite a bit of exploring uh, in trying to search for blocks such as packed ice in new biomes such you got red sand I still get to get the pods all so I have been exploring a lot of screen and I don't know I must have been exploring for about an hour and a half and I have found nothing not even a village not anything noteworthy and that stinks if I'm gonna be honest with you guys it stinks uh, I did have a wolf companion. So I happened to pick up a bone, a bone, uh, from a skeleton, I'm presuming, and then I found a wolf by itself and decided, you know what, if it gets, if it accepts this bone and becomes my friend, then he will be part of my adventure. And sure enough, he accepted with the one bone, so you are now going to be called Mint. I'm sure you guys know where that's going, if you remember the names of my other wolves. Uh, but anyway, so actually I want this workbench. I'm going to need that. The fur and I, not so much. We don't need a solitary piece of dirt. No one ever needs that. Uh, the fur and I, they can stay. I'm good on food. I've, I'll hold myself up to make some more food. Uh, I think it's daytime. I've got my bed here. Uh, so, also you may remember that we had a horse when I was exploring last time. And we no longer have the horse. <laughs> so, it's not dead, don't worry. I had to leave it in that mine. That Remember, oh my god lag. The wolf is coming, yeah? Hello? I thought I clicked you. Hello? Oh. Are you stuck in there? You better not be stuck in there. No, I think he's just being an idiot. There he is. Okay, good. So let's keep going. So yeah, I had to leave the horse behind because we stumbled across an ocean. If you remember last time, there was a lot of water. That was an ocean. And I was not willing to push my horse all the way along there. So I kind of left him. I've saved the coordinates. So he is not doomed just yet. So that's good news. Um, however, in getting over here and getting a wolf, uh, I've inadvertently caused a situation where I have to now get this wolf back. Uh, and I can't really do that in by going across the ocean. I'm not pushing him across the ocean. Uh, so I was trying to walk my way round. And I think I may as well keep doing that because I can keep exploring if I do this. But as you can see in my coordinates, especially my Z coordinate is way out there. In fact, my X coordinate is actually a bit back from where my horse is. But in trying to go round and get my Z coordinate, lava, hello. Don't fall in that, Mint. Mint is not a very wolfish name, but I don't know. I just happened to, I just happened to find a peony, which gave him a pink dye. So there you go. So hopefully on this long exploration around the world, it seems, we'll find something. There has to be something, even if it's just a village. I would accept that, especially based on... Oh, well, I suppose we're still in 1. Point, what is this? 1.7.4? Yeah, it says right there on the coordinates. Which I probably... I'm going to have to leave these coordinates up quite a lot, because otherwise I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Uh, but hopefully, all of this ocean, you can walk around it eventually. Okay, careful, 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 careful. Okay, we get out. Oh, I did all that and then messed up the end. I didn't actually take damage, though. I don't know why I left my feather falling boots in a situation like this. So, it seems as though this journey is going to be comprised of two different things. First, I'm going to have to actually get back home. Uh, and whether or not I find something in that time, uh, that'll be interesting to see if that happens. But what I also have to do is now I have to go back and get my horse. Uh, but again, I've written the coordinates down. So I should not... I should be able to find it again, you would think. It's getting there. That was the problem. And if I wasn't... If I didn't come across this ocean, I wouldn't have this problem. I am not coming back this way again if I'm going to explore things. Unless I find a biome now. Because that's... Just, this is not right, man. I shouldn't have to do this. Stupid oceans. We've met some crazy terrain. <laughs> We've met it. Hello, terrain. My name's Nafashi. We came across a lot of like stone beaches, a lot of weird extreme hills and stuff. Uh, but I'm kind of done with seeing that now. And you know, I'm also done with seeing <laughs> roof forests. Those things appear so much, or at least they do in my world. 
and it's stupid. Also, if you may have noticed, my Bane of Arthropod sword is no more. It finally broke on, I think it was a pig. <laughs> so, we are now using this cheap iron sword. We need a better diamond sword, I think, because we have the diamonds for it now. Is that another stone beach? You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> this ocean is massive. It must circle round eventually. There's no way that it doesn't. This is Minecraft. It's infinite. And it might take a while. But that is precisely what I'm going to do. But you guys are not going to see it. I just thought I'd record because I didn't want to get stuck. I didn't want to do a lot and you guys not see anything. Also, I didn't really want to get stuck. Oh, some horses. I don't want to get stuck just here until the next episode. I want... To do something. I want to be able to do stuff off screen. And I can't if I'm in the middle of nowhere. But I didn't just want to suddenly be nowhere. And then back at base. If that makes any sense. Which probably doesn't. And this always misleads me. Into thinking that it's a tiger biome. And I'm always like. Oh is that mega tiger? But no. The trees in mega tiger biomes are slightly different. I think that's, that that's, is where you get pods though isn't it? It's something like that. Either way we haven't come across it yet. So. Oh well. Ah, we're in extreme hills, and I've seen enough of those in my lifetime, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> so, me and Mint here are going to continue to explore. We're going to continue to circle round. Hopefully, we'll get back home soon. Or well, at least, hopefully, something happens this episode. That looks like it's going to go to ocean, so I'm going to stay here. Uh, but yeah, if we bump across into something, I will for sure let you guys know. Holy, this is crazy ravine thing going on here. We do not want to traverse that though. I think the wolf AI is smart enough that Mint won't commit suicide and that would be terrible because we've only had him for this episode. Uh, but we'll see. Now see that, I get confused because that that's not a regular tiger tree is it? Or is that the norm now? I mean this isn't even a tiger biome, this is extreme heels. The most annoying biomes to bloody traverse by the way. This is not how you should traverse biomes. Damn it, I'm going to have to go around here. So anyway, yeah, if I bump into something, I'll let you guys know. But until then, I'm going to continue with the arduous walking. <laughs> we found signs of life. At least we found a village. Jeez. Okay. So, I do need a new stock of villages. I mean, this is miles away, but... I mean, it's something. And we might even find a name tag and a blacksmith. Who the heck knows? So we're going to trade with some of these villagers and hopefully actually off a chain mail. Uh, I don't think you can access that straight away, though, if I'm perfectly honest. That guy had a diamond pick for 10 emeralds. No, thank you. Three emeralds for a bookshelf. No, thank you. How about 17 coal for an emerald? No, thank you. We do need a bunch of books. So I'm actually tempted to just pillage this village and take all its books so unless we see a different blacksmith because we're only really doing it for the chainmail I was informed by the way in the comments uh, that you can actually repair broken chainmail of iron I don't know how true that is uh, but it's worth a go and thank you to I forget the name I'm sorry but I'll I don't know, I'll credit it next time maybe <laughs> all right so I suppose it's time to look in the blacksmith chest are you kidding me? We got obsidian. We had seven of those. Why the heck would a blacksmith have an apple and five saplings? Come on. Makes sense, game. Right, now I have to remember... I don't... I do not remember. <laughs> oh god, I remember which direction I came from. Um, but I suppose we'll just head to where... Yeah, I think this is the way. It's where the X coordinate decreases. Oh, we need some more wool too. For more beds, to make more elevated hidey holes of they've been patented by Kurt J. Mack. Uh, but yeah, I've been making so many of those. So yeah, I don't think I even mentioned that last time. Because I didn't bring any beds last time, but now I've been bringing loads of beds around. Uh, I've just been making holes. I've either been making caves in the scenery or been pillaring up to sleep. Uh, this is not the correct way. Now it's the correct way. Uh, yes, I've been doing that just because I don't want to die and then not come back here and lose everything, including my wolf. That would suck. Damn it. <laughs> if only I hadn't got this wolf. But we have the wolf, man. He was committed, and we're not going to let him down. We're getting him back home, and we're doing a bunch of other stuff, including getting lost. So at least we found a village, but it's not like there was much there. 
Yeah! <laughs> so, again, I'll go back to you guys when something else happens. Yay! Hello? This... Is this what I think it is? Holy crap! Are you serious? Of all the biomes to stumble across, I found a mushroom island? What the heck is this? This is insane. I can't believe this. So before all this other rubbish, before we found a Tiger Plus, before we found Mesa, before we found whatever the hell Tundra Biome has that stuff in, we found a mushroom island. This is insane! And this is the first, by the way, the first mushroom island I've ever found. It's not even an island, really. I just, it's like a peninsula. I stumbled across it, just randomly. What is going on? <laughs> we just completely found... What? Ah, man. This is crazy. Right, first thing we want to do, take some mycelium. I've never naturally found this. And apparently we can't get it with a diamond pickaxe. Oh no, we can. There it is. I was going to say, that didn't make any sense. Alright. So I know I picked up a piece of dirt. There. We've got mycelium. I can't believe this. This is insane. Right. You are going straight in this ender chest. I cannot afford to lose you. Oh my goodness. Right. So. We've got mycelium. Damn, does this feel good. I can't believe it. It took its bloody time to find something. But we finally find... A friggin' mushroom biome. Alright, so, now what I want to do, uh, this is why I happen to have 10 obsidian. Right, so, I am done exploring, basically, for now. I'm probably, but I want to know where this is. I want to come back here in case I want to visit here again. So, what I'm going to do, I don't want to destroy this precious mycelium. So, what I'm going to do, yeah, you know what? We have spare obsidian. We can build this whole bloody thing. Yeah! Suck it. Alright, so... That is not the right height, is it? <laughs> I done goofed. Okay, maybe I'm getting... I'm getting ahead of myself, but I, ca I can't believe this. Of all the things we find, it's a, a mushroom island. What's going on? I am... I am flabbergasted. Right. No, I'm not going to risk that. I'm just going to cobble up and do it. I was trying to, like, skillfully jump up and then place it, but no, I just want to do that. I don't actually have any flint. Right, and nighttime setting, but, you know, I think that... I think that enemies don't spawn here. Am I right in thinking that? I want to sleep anyway. I don't have a bed. Let's make a bed. Oh, man, I'm all over the place. Like, I saw some mushrooms. I was like, oh, great, more roof forest. And then I got closer. It's like, hang on, that's not grass, that block, what's going on here? It's been found. We found a mushroom island. And I thought this would be like one of the last things I ever found, so this is crazy. Oh man, so we found something. Now, I am actually missing a piece of gravel. Uh, actually, I'm not... I don't mind the fact that I just slept here. You know, in fact, you know what? I might make like a base here Right, you stay here. You've been a worthy companion, Mint, by the way. You've not done anything stupid. You've not tried to kill yourself like some of other wolves. Yeah, you see, this is like integrated into just a forest. I've not seen that before. I always thought that you had to go through an ocean to see it. Uh, but I guess not. So yeah, I think that's right. I think I'm right in thinking that you don't get any enemies there. Or maybe I'm just misthinking that. I do that a lot. Okay, I can't lose where that is because I just pushed never down. So I need to find some gravel. Uh, which, of course, most of the time... Ah, zombie. Most of the time it's like the easiest thing to find. But in the one instance that we actually want it, we're not going to be able to find it, are we? But man, I, I can't believe this. Right, so what other terrain things to get? You've got packed ice, podzol, and red sand. I think that's actually it now that we've got the mycelium. Still can't believe we just did that. This is ridiculous. Right, I'm going to go get some gravel. You guys don't need to see this. Alright, we got our flint and steel. Let's head back. I don't know where the heck... There's some nasty sounding stuff down here. And I do not have time for that. As a wise woman once said. In quite a different method. 
of pronunciation. But anyway, we're heading back to the Mushroom Island. Well, I can't believe he found this. I deserve this, man. I deserve something. I spent so long just trying to explore and finding absolutely nothing except one village that had some obsidian. But now, we've got a Mushroom Island. I'm going to call it a Mushroom Peninsula. It's not even that. A peninsula is sort of like there's a small stretch of land that leads to an island. Like Crimea, to be topical. That's kind of a peninsula. Was that a peninsula really? I don't even know, but sort of. That sort of area. But this is just sort of lumped in with everything else. Alright, so. Hello. Oh, we're going to go for the nether. Uh, but since we found this, I might just leave all my stuff here. I might even leave my ender chest here. Because I want to come back here. It's a freaking mushroom biome. Uh, I might even make like my own house here, uh, but we'll s we'll put. Oh yeah, that's something else I'm gonna do. On the way on this journey, I've killed numerous cows, and to celebrate, I'm going to make all the bits of lever armor because we definitely need all the lever armor we need. That was a lot of times I said the word need. Also, I don't think I have enough room for everything. I do not. Uh, there's more cobble than we we'll ever need, and I don't forget the leggings. All right, so we got all the leather. Man, this is this is suddenly come from nothing happening episode to ultimately productive episode. So I kind of want to keep my silk touch pick. I'm just worried about going through the Nether and getting back to base and dying whilst doing so. Uh, so also I want to keep my power four bow. So if I want well, to, I don't want to break this ender chest either. I'll leave this ender chest here. I can always get another one. Uh, I. Don't, I'm not missing anything else. I think not, everything else isn't really expendable. I guess we'll put arrows in here because if we don't have a bow, there's no point. Uh, oh, and the books. And maybe the meat as well. We'll survive with what we have. Everything else I think we can do with. Uh, we don't have any other important enchanted stuff, which is mainly what I want to keep anyway. Right, so I'll be back for you, Mint. I just want to go ahead and confirm that the Nether is a safe enough place to be. You've got to be kidding me. Not this again. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> oh, what is this? What is this? Now, for those of you... Oh, my good. Okay. I'll get into what I was about to say once I barricade myself away from this ghast. Ah... Uh. So nervous all of a sudden. And this portal is very loud. Alright. I think we're okay. I can really do with my bow now. I don't really want to lose it though. Um, okay, so X is this way. The good news is the coordinates aren't too far away because it's the nether. And we want to head in this direction as well. We have got a lot of cobble, I guess, bridge making you could call this. So for those of you that remember my... Hardcore mode, my second... No, that was my first season, wasn't it? Yes, that was my first season of hardcore mode. Where's closer? There or there? I'm just going to keep going. Man, I could do some fire resistance potions right now, that's for damn sure. Oh, there's actually some land there. Now, do I just want to build this bridge? Ha! Alright. <laughs> I might want my bow. Where was that ghast? Yeah, you know what? Well, first I'm going to barricade this side off. Okay, here he is. Oh, you did not just do that. Well, that's weird. Can we still get through? We can. That was a complete mess. Okay, we're getting our bow. Because that is not happening. Oh, man. You've got to be kidding me. Can't believe this happened again. How often does this happen? It must have taken a while. So we're going to bring the bow. Okay, yeah, you may want to stay here, Mint, for a while. This is definitely not the safest of places, if I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. But we've got a gas to take down. Oh, and there's a fire there. And suddenly the portal was fully regenerated. Okay, it'd be nice if the terrain loaded. Oh my god. Okay, how did he miss from there? I don't know what just happened. 
I don't know if we're actually safe or if that glitched or but what I know is happening is that we yeah you know what I do want to do that I want to bridge across I want to bridge across on the other side because we need to get over somehow I want to make it as oh no you don't I want to make it as less sort of the painful painful is not the right word right you know what we'll light you again in a second how do we put out how do you put out a portal by itself? You can't. I f I'm not risking that. <laughs> There's a lot of things I don't want to risk, and this is one of them. Okay, that's how we're going to have to block that off stupidly. Alright, so, yeah. I want my wolf to die getting across here, so I'm going to have to keep doing this. And there are a lot of gas around. I think we have enough cobble, and if we don't, then we're going to have to go get some more. This... It was a side effect I didn't really want to happen. Uh, actually, if I do this... See, now I don't know if I just want to go there. Because how? who knows how long it's going to take to get round. This could be a long and painful procedure, especially with gas around. I can't even see him, I can just hear him. Hello? Well, the good news is that if I die... Well, I lose my power bow if I die, but I kind of want to kill these ghasts with the power bow. Uh, but, ah! But, yeah, it's all, this is all very ominous. Uh, but we're getting there. Uh, I don't know if you guys need to see all this cobble pillaring. Oh, goodness. Oh, shut up. Oh, okay, there's another ghast. Oh, oh God. I don't know if I want to do this this episode, if I'm honest with you. Right, we'll kill this ghast. Uh, eventually. Hello? You didn't even fire. Oh, my aim is off. It's a good thing we have an infinity bow. Hello? Oh man, I must be really misjudging this. Huh? Hey, you know what? I'm perfectly fine with that. Okay. Yeah, this isn't happening on screen, I'm afraid. I don't think I have enough cobble anyway. We need to get out of here. I guess we're spending the night in this mushroom biome. Yay! But we did get some new items. They're in this end of chest. Ah, it's just you and me, Mint. We're stuck here. We're ready to complete the journey home. But we'll do that in the next episode. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode. Toodles. <laughs>